wow, wow, wow. People, people, people. Subscribers to Kitchen Marisa, how's it going? Dudes, it's been a while. I know, no problem. So today, what I'm going to cook is, dun, 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 like Tatiana would say, the, um, I'm gonna do pappardelle with bolognese sauce. But anyway, I'm doing that today. Let's see how it works out. Here's the disclaimer. The disclaimer is, um, one of the things that I don't have is celery. But that's not deterring me because I'm going to do whatever I need to anyway. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. I just know it. And I've incorporated some shortcuts. Some things that you don't have to do, uh, you know, to make it such a laboriously long, um, you know, process, right? So things to do shortcuts with. Anyway, so let's get ready. Come with me in the kitchen and let's see if you all know how to do, what is it again? Mm, Pappardelle alla bolognese. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's start with the ingredients. Obviously here, you know, the pappardelle, these are very thick um, string, you know, uh, pasta, you know, like uh, linguine, but they're thicker, right? We're going to have some minced meat. This is ground beef. We're going to have some carrots. We're going to have some onions. And remember, the onions and the carrots is what you do, you know, the, the initial mirepoix, right? But you need celery, and I don't have that. I have some minced garlic, but here is the piece de resistance. This, my dear friends, is Italy's version of pancetta. It, I'm sorry, Italy's version of bacon, which is called pancetta. It's super salty, super delicious. And if you love prosciutto, this is the cousin of prosciutto. It's really, really good. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start with cooking this first. Okay, so how does it go? So we're going to put the pancetta in the pan. Obviously, pancetta, like bacon, has its own fat. And what you're basically going to do is you're going to render it. You don't need to add oil, people, because this is going to be super duper oily. And we have to let the pancetta get to a crisp, okay? Because again, it's going to be like having bacon in it. And depending on how much oil comes out, I'll either drain it or not. It all depends. Maybe I'll just drain it just to make sure and all that kind of good stuff. But you know what? The oil is going to help the minced meat get browned. Okay? So, you hear it? You hear that sizzling? Yep. There it is. It's starting. Okay, so here you go, people. So they're basically cooked. It's basically cooked. Did it render some fat? Yeah but not too much. So let's just see what happens as I now put in some of the onions. And with the onions, I'm going to also put in the carrots. And remember, there has to be um, celery that I don't have. But that's okay, we're gonna make it work even if, there, even if there's no celery, all right? So maybe what I'm going to do is just to make sure that it cooks, I am going to add a little bit of olive oil. All right. Otherwise it just might be too dry. So yeah. So this is the base. Okay. This is the beginning of the base. Okay. So I added some oil. As you see, just need a little bit more. At this point, I'm going to put the garlic, the minced garlic. Yummy. What's Italian food without minced garlic? Now remember, garlic burns quickly. So, what you're going to stand by with after this is red wine. If you have beef, red wine. Now if you want, you can also have some, maybe, I really wouldn't, but maybe a little bit of beef stock 
or even chicken stock, but I'm not doing that. So we'll leave it like this. All right, I'm gonna put the cover as it continues to cook. All right, so now this is what we did. Here's my trusty, dusty videographer. Yay, hey, Miss TC. So we put in the minced meat. Now we're gonna give it some flavor. I'm actually gonna put in two pieces of bay leaf because I can and it's my business. As Tabitha Brown says, I'm gonna sprinkle some red pepper. Okay, give it some, a little bit of heat, not that much. I'm going to give it some oregano. Okay. There we go. Then I will give it some black pepper. Then I will give it some garlic powder. Then I will give it some onion powder. Ooh, it's gonna be tasty. And just a little dash of salt. Okay, for now. And then we'll see what happens. Okay. So now it's gonna happen. Here's the process. Now the mince meat starts cooking, right? When the mince meat starts cooking, we're gonna raise the heat a little bit, let it cook. When the mince meat starts cooking, then we're gonna put some wine. And that's gonna be some flavorful, flavorful stuff right there. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is gonna break up, as you see, I'm breaking up the mincemeat a little. And then, I'm gonna put the cover on and let it simmer, let it render, let the mincemeat render, and, you know, let it all come together. Mm-mm, delicious! Oh, but before I put the wine, what I'm also going to put, so you know, this is with the sauce, right? But I'm gonna start with adding tomato paste. Okay, tomato paste before I put the wine, all right? So remember that, tomato paste before you put the wine, okay? All right, let's see. Come back in just a little bit. Now it's time for the pesto. So what you do is you're gonna create Ooh, look at all that. Look at all that. That. Wow. You're going to create a little hole. And you're going to put your pesto. And you're going to let that cook a little bit. Because my understanding is that tomato paste is raw. Um, even if it's a concentration, I think. I don't know. I might be wrong. Let all the chefs tell you otherwise. Remember, I'm just a home chef. I didn't go to no chef school. I'm gonna tell you what, my food is delicious. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that's a lot of oil. So that's between the pancetta and the beef. A little oil didn't hurt, it doesn't hurt anyone. Right? Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. Okay. Next up, wine. Now it's time to pour in the wine. Ooh. Remember, pour in the wine that you know you would drink. That's the way you work it. You want the same quality and flavor that wine that they sell at the supermarkets. Oh God, no. So yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna add a little more. And you let the alcohol burn off. Remember that. Let the alcohol burn off. Nana's here, she's amazed. Nana is amazed. Okay, so here's a shortcut. Time to put some sauce. So you would put sauce, right? But I already have some sauce that I made previously and froze. So this cuts your time in half. All right, that's gonna melt and you're gonna have 
all the sauce you ever need. Okay, here we go. It's going down. See the sauce? So the next thing that we're going to do, and the last thing, is I'm going to put some half and half. All right. And we're going to make this baby creamy. And this is pretty much it. So I'll come back when the pasta's made and it's all assembled together, okay? All right, stay tuned. Yum, yum, yum. Here it is, here's that finished product. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, here's the pasta that's already done. We're going to marry these together. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And so there's a lot of oil here, so be careful for the oil. Because of the pancetta and the beef, it's going to make the oil, you know, increase exponentially. So take it out beforehand. You know, you live and learn, right? That's just what life is. Que bellezza! Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to mix it all, mix it all together. Look at that! Look at that beauteous! Oh my! Oh! Oh my God! Que bellezza! È vero, mamma? Yes. Sei pronta a mangiare? Woohoo! Yes! Look at look at this. Come on now, people. Just, you know what? You might have said, why in the world is she putting the... Here, hold it for me, Da. My trusty, dusty... Come here. Why is she putting it in... Why is she putting heavy cream? Well, that heavy cream is going to give it flavor. So here you go. Look at these. Look at this. You can move, you can move the... Um... Yeah, that's right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. And then what you do is you get some more of the sauce. Come move back for a minute. You get the sauce, you plate it on top, and then and it wouldn't be pasta without the finished product. I'm gonna put on some grated pecorino romano cheese. What? Come on, people. How beautiful is that? Right? Okay. Ready? I'm going to do a taste test for you. Let's see. Mm, look at that. Look at, ooh, look at that. Ready? Ooh, kitchen Marisa. <laughs> this is Pappardelle alla bolognese. <laughs> wow. Mm. I'm not trying to steal anybody's saying, mm -hmm. but like Lydia Bastianich says, tutti a tavola a mangiare. <laughs> It's so easy. It takes absolutely nothing to do. Super, super easy. Ain't that right, Tatiana? Yes, it is. Oh my god, and it's so tasty. Say bye. Mm. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Alla prossima.